bataille. Every agreement against me. At witchcraft covers. Can you shout this loud again? Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the evil agreement. Basenta. Likapola kaya boko shendera basenta. Scatter the evil agreement. In Jesus name we pray. Glory to Jesus. Father we thank you for a time like this. And we praise the only name for your mighty strength and power. We thank you for being our glory and the lifter of our heads. We thank you because you are greater than the greatest and higher than the highest. Accept our thanks in Jesus this evening open our understanding lay your hands upon our lives anoint us by your power and by your strength to you father be the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen let's have a see God bless you in Psalm 74 verse 20. Psalm 74 verse 20. This is why I like you to listen very carefully. So you know what to do when the time comes. Psalm 74 verse 20. Are we there? Psalm 74 20. Have respect unto the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are full of of the habitations of cruelty. The dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. Beloved, that passage is pregnant with meanings. Number one, there are some places on earth that the Bible calls dark places. By dark places, it doesn't mean there is no electric light. Darkness, according to the Bible, is simply the absence of divine light. Simply the absence of light. There are dark places in this earth. You may not believe it. It may sound strange to you. Your faith preaching person may even tell you that there is nothing like that. But it doesn't really matter whether he believes it or not. There are places that are dark in this world. And the Bible says that place is full of the habitations of Cruelty. What they do there is wickedness. And this is a worldwide problem. Unfortunately, the words of Prophet Asiah has come to pass again. My people perish for lack of knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. One sister got married to a particular family. The family had five men. The first man got married. He had five girls. Second man got married. He had four girls. Third man got married. He had three girls. Fourth one got married. He had two girls. The last man now got married. The sister that got married to that man now said, I must break this circle in this family. So she started praying. She prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And for the first time, she had a male child in the family. But from the day that baby was born, no peace. The baby cried and cried and cried and cried. They could not stop the baby from crying. The crying became so bad. The husband had to leave their room because they could not even stand the crying. This baby will cry, cry, cry with all his power. One night, the sister now put the baby at the center of their sitting room and started praying. She said, Father, what is wrong with this baby? What is the problem? She started praying. All of a sudden, as she was praying, an angel of God appeared to her and said, Daughter, you want to know why the baby is crying? You have to follow me somewhere. The angel held her hand 
and off they went. As if through very far place, as if they were traveling with a fast aeroplane. And then, after this long traveling, they landed in a place. Where they landed, they found people in black wrappers in a circle. All of them had whips in their hands. And there was a baby at the center. They were all whipping the baby. And the baby was crying there. And the angel turned to the sister. He said, do you recognize that baby? Say yes. So that's your baby. Take the baby. As she moved forward to take the baby, one woman broke out of the circle and said, you this woman, what we have placed on this family for years, you think you have a strong to remove it? Then you can't. You can't. We must kill the baby. Then just said, don't, don't talk to her. Just take the baby. So she took the baby. Again, and they came back to the sitting room and immediately she opened her eyes the baby stopped crying amen question what was that meeting where the angel took her that is the cover the cover listen beloved when a person is a prisoner of a covenant there will be plenty of terrible things happening. One man, a long time ago, when Martin of Fire started, 1989, he said he had a dream. And in the dream, he found himself in a courtroom. And the judge was very angry. And the judge said, we are, our sentence is that you are going to become mad. And the man said, please, I don't want to become mad. What have I done? But when he looked carefully at the face of the judge. It was his last daughter. Ha! Say, ah, my daughter. Why? Say, well, daddy, you see, um, we need to discipline you. Because in the house, when you serve food, you give my sisters meat, meat. They give me bones. The pastor said, no problem. Beginning from now, I'll begin to give you chicken, a whole chicken. But I don't want to run mad. <laughs> The girl said, too late. Judgment. And somebody hit his head with a stick. Wah! He felt it to real life. And he ran into the streets naked. It was after prayer when he now became normal, he remembered the dream. We now said, go and bring your daughter. She brought this girl. And I said, you, you made your father mad? He said, yes. Any question again? <laughs> Amen. So any question again? So you, you people have delivered him. So what is? Those are characteristics of coven powers. This is a very, very serious situation. And we need to deal with this situation here today. When somebody is a prisoner of a coven, they, sta they station you for disgrace. When I was an ignorant Christian, I didn't know anything there something happened one day and I pray not to see it again but because I lack knowledge at that time I couldn't do anything to help it's a coven arrow of disgrace if I know what I knew now then I, I will stop it from happening marriage ceremony they had already wedded the couple and they were dancing out of the church do you know the wedding dancing they got outside. Immediately they got outside. And they wanted to start the pictures. The bride took hold of her gown and toyed. Right there on the spot. She became insane. It's a coven disgrace. That's why the message is very clear. You have to stop them before they stop you. If you don't stop them, they will stop you. They have no mercy or kindness in their agenda. Turn to three persons say, stop them before they stop you. Shout it loud and clear. A coven is an invisible society. The inhabitants there, they are wicked spirits, satanic agents, and forces that are opposed to light. A coven is a coordinating center for demonic activities. It's a demonic base where 
planning, logistics, and directives are given to demonic supervisors to execute their plans on human beings. There is no community that is free of these covens. That is black or white or whatever color, they are there. That's why if you run away from Nigeria, you say, well, I don't like what they are doing to me here. I want to run away to somewhere else. If you are a COVID prisoner here, by the time you get there, they just transfer your case file. That's all. And those ones over there, they are more devastatingly dangerous than our own. A COVID is a dispatch center where satanic soldiers take off for the human realm. A COVID is a committee of darkness. It's an assembly of the enemy held regularly for destructive purposes. It's a meeting place of spirits and their human agents. Don't waste your time. You cannot pacify witchcraft powers. You cannot beg witchcraft powers. They are not going to repent. Just know that one. Going to the village to go and give them gifts so that they will leave you alone. You are just wasting your time. They will take another corner and transfer you to another coven. The coven is the origin of every evil projection into human life. And the Bible gives us very good description, but it's again, it's ignorance. In the popular Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. I know there is somebody here this morning. By the time you pray the first prayer point after this message, the problem of long years will just vanish. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. I want us to read it together. In fact, you are supposed to know it from the top of your memory. Are we there? Let's go, let's read together. It says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So there is a place of judgment that tongues rise against us. There are places where tongue rises against human beings in judgment. That place where that tongue rises up to judge you is called the coven. That's why it happens. And the Bible didn't say you should pacify them. The Bible didn't say you should beg them. What did they ask you to do? Condemn. That's what the Bible says. It's not Dr. Luca that wrote the Bible. It's there, you can see it. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It didn't say thou shalt pacify, thou shalt beg, thou shalt give gifts. No, thou shalt condemn. When the Bible says in the popular Psalm 2, why do the nations so furiously rage together? Why do the people imagine a vain thing? So the kings of the earth rise up and they took counsel together against the Lord. And against his anointing. See, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their yokes from us. The Bible said the Lord will use a rod of iron to scatter them. He didn't say the Lord will pacify them. He didn't say the Lord will beg them to stop. He said he shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That's what the Bible says. So, the kings of the earth rise up and they took counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing. That gathering where they are taking the council together is a coven. It's clear in the Bible. Look at Ezekiel chapter 8. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 8. Ezekiel 8, 8. Look at a man of God who was taken to a coven to see what they are doing there. Ezekiel 8, 8. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall, and when I dig in the wall, behold a door. And he said unto me, go in, and behold the wicked, wicked, notice the word wicked, wicked abominations that they do here. Wicked. If I slap your face now, boah, and you slap me back, boah, you are not a wicked person. I started it. But when I did not touch you, I have not harmed you. In fact, I am kind to you, but you are 
beating me up. That's wickedness. Listen, especially those of us who have gone to too much, too many schools, over educated. Said no, I've not offended anybody. I'm very kind to people. I'm very nice. So I don't see why anybody should trouble my life. Zero, zero, zero. In fact, it is when you have decided to fulfill your destiny that they're after you. This is a serious matter. This is why it's so easy for evil powers to grab educated people because their mind sometimes is against the Bible. God pushed you to a position. A position of publicity, a position of popularity. How is I went to Cambridge, I got a degree from Harvard. So you sat down and you think there are no people who want to push you out of the place. They are there. The coven powers. Wicked abominations that they do here. Verse 10. So I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping things and abominable beasts. And all the idols, all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jezaniah, the son of Shavan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chamber of his imagery? That is the example of a coven. If you get home, read Ezekiel 11, you see another example again of the coven. So a coven is a place of meeting to plan wickedness and destruction. A satanic house of parliament. A coven is a demonic court of judgment. That's why any dream about seeing yourself in the court, seeing yourself in the police station, you should deal with it terribly. If God takes you to a coven, you will see the inhabitants. You will see their physical looks. You can actually recognize the faces of those who are there. There are prayers you can pray inside the prayer room book. And as you are praying those prayers, you find yourself inside the witchcraft meeting. You see them, but they can't see you. God will bring their picture to your face. You see them. Covens have their places of meetings. It could be a forest, be in the trees, be in the dungeon, be in the rocks, be in the shrines. It could be inside the charm that people use. The terrible thing is that the coven is a place of slaughter. Every coven has an evil altar in it. And in that coven, they give account of their various assignments. They decide those to be afflicted, those to be punished, those to be hindered, those to die, homes to scatter. Because in the covens are evil lawmakers and judicials. So everybody under any form of affliction is a slave or prisoner of some covens. Every family idol is an extension of a particular coven. Every charm, spell, taboo, libation, fetish power, they are all directed by coven powers. Every diabolical act, every demonic medicine, every occultic medicine is the craft of a particular coven. It is the demons from such covens that make those charms effective. Covens have no age restriction. You can even find babies there. Some covens have supremacy over another coven. A native doctor can deliver you from a particular coven, but he will just take you to a worse coven and you don't know. Therefore, you have coven judgment, coven decree, coven assignment, coven manipulation, coven design, coven agenda, coven execution, coven imprisonment. A lot of people are prisoners under these powers. Do you find yourself tormented by intelligent power? You don't understand them. You are a prisoner of the coven. You have never really enjoyed your divine benefit. It's because you are a prisoner of a coven. There are plenty of unrepentant and stubborn also wickedness pursuing your life. It's because you are a prisoner in their coven. You are suffering from intensive marital attacks. It's because you are a prisoner of their coven. You find that most things you see good things but you don't attain them. It's because you are a prisoner of a coven. You are trying hard, but it seems as if the harder you try, the more the problems seem to suffocate your faith. It's because you are a prisoner of a coven. You find that members of your family are being caged by powers of darkness and you can't get them out. It's because you are a prisoner of a coven. You are living in a house 15 years, 20 years. Your life has not moved forward. You are probably living on a coven house. You have talents, but you find that you can't really use them. Or you use them, 
others get the benefits. You don't get it. You're a prisoner of a covenant. One problem goes, another problem comes. You find yourself pursued by the spirit of death and hell. You find yourself battling the kind of situations you don't understand and you can't master it. You are being troubled by the mystery of the leaking pockets. You get plenty of money, but you don't know what to do with them. It's because you're a coven prisoner. There are eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood coven. There are summoners coven. They call people out of the body. They are slave masters coven. They make the people walk in their sleep in their, by using their spirit men. There is sexual coven. They draw people into sex. There are business hindering covens. They are sweepers covens. They sweep good things away. There are terror covens. There are infantile covens. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth that you know shall set you free. How do you break the covens influence over your life? The first thing is to surrender your life to Jesus. That one is not negotiable at all. The second thing is that you need to repent from every known sin. Because every sin in your life will strengthen the covens against you. The third thing is to pray for a revelation like Ezekiel. You pray inquiry prayer. Lord, I want to see, I want to know, I want to understand. And he will tell you what is going on. Then you will disband the coven. You disband them, you pull them down, you destroy them. You forbid them from regarding. All covens are disgraced and disbanded using the scripture in Isaiah chapter 8. All covens, whatever, no matter how strong they are, they are disbanded and disorganized. Using Isaiah chapter 8, let's read it from verse 9 to 10. Open your Bible there, it's important you make this confession loud and clear. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 9 and 10. We are going to read it militarily. Let's go. Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. And give ye all ye far countries. Guide yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Guide yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Verse 10. Take counsel together. It shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand. For God is with us. Read verse 10 again. All covens are broken using that scripture. Then the next thing to do is to recover what they have stolen from you. Then bring in the God of Elijah. The God of Elijah is the God that throws bombs into covens. Elijah stood on that celebrated Mount Carmel. He brought the coven people to the open. He was standing and 800 and 50 coven people were standing before him and he confronted them and he destroyed them he knew that to leave them alive would be to, to continue the program until Elijah destroyed those prophets rain did not begin to fall there are plenty of situations where rain of blessings will never fall on particular people until their coven enemies are dead this morning. This is what we're here for. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. The kind of prayers we're going to pray here today will be what the destiny of so many people have been waiting for. And I want you to pray the prayers without any apology. But before we go into those prayers, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you can't pray any anti covum prayers you'll be wasting time. So I want you to surrender your life to Jesus. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, say, man of God, I want to surrender my life to Jesus today. Just leave that seat where you are. Find a way to the altar here. Hurry up because we don't have time. We want to go and pray. You want to surrender your life to Jesus so that you too can deal with the covens. Find a way very quickly to the altar here. Thank you, Jesus.
Amen. Those of you at the front, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Close your eyes where you are and bow down your head and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. I know you care for me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. Beginning from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray that you keep them standing by your power. The decision they've taken today shall be permanent in their lives. And they shall be established in your kingdom. Today that they are surrounding their lives to Jesus, let them have uncommon miracles. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, pray. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and begin to talk to the Lord. The Father, any sin that will keep any coven fighting me in place, forgive me now. Because I want to scatter them this morning. Any sin that will strengthen them against me, forgive me now. Open your mouth, just pray it. Amen. Rise up on your feet now. If you are sitting down. This is not the kind of prayer you pray and you sit down. We have a few minutes to pray. These prayers will bring a terrible damage on any one here who's been troubled by coven powers. Amen. It is without volume. I want you to pray the few prayers you want to pray now. If you pray anti coven prayers here today and your voice disappears and the covens are destroyed. Your voice will be back because then you'll have done a very good bargain. But to pray like a gentleman here and the coven still remains in place, it means you have come here to waste time. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Sisters, shout this after me with holy anger. Oh God of Elijah! witchcraft covens assigned against my life. Sisters, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Mm -hmm. Oh God of Elijah, arise! Scatter witchcraft covens assigned against my life. Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. Aha. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. There must be a scattering here today. Something must happen. Something must happen. Something must happen. Yes, God of Elijah must arise in your place of work. He must arise in that marriage. He must arise in that business. He must arise. Masaka poya bo shenterabaka. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Aha, aha. Something is happening already. But support and the car. But Rima Kaponda Kaya Boshanda. E Jesus, them we pray. Silence. I told you. That's right. The prison of the covenant has been broken open. And the prisoners have been set free. Yes, that evil growth on your body has just disappeared. That spirit of paralysis has just left that person. Yes. The unusual flies and the unusual birds that have been visiting you, by the time you get home, you'll find them dead. All those coven powers that have been sitting on the progress of your children, they have been dismantled now. 
Every passport confiscated by the coven, certificates confiscated by the coven, they are being released now. 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 All the promotions confiscated by the covens. They are being released now. That's right. Shout this again after the order of Elisha. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Bomb every coven assigned against me. Bomb every coven assigned against me. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Bomb every coven assigned against me. In the name of Jesus, just call out the Lord God of Elijah. Let him bomb the coven to pieces. Let him bomb the coven to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Just the mercy bomb to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Masekaya Boshenda Rabokonaraba Ribo Soponde Kaya Boshente Raba Aha Don't negotiate Today is not a day to negotiate It's not a day to negotiate Yes be released Be released Be released Be released Be released From the Coven prisons Be released Be released Be released In the name of Jesus Oh yes Oh yes Oh yes Oh yes in Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. I have someone here. You are praying with holy anger. What one power was saying. But your uncle is part of the coven. It's too late now. The line has already been drawn. The coven of darkness. Condemning my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Set the covens ablaze by the power of the Holy Ghost. Set it ablaze. 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 Set it ablaze by the power of the Holy Ghost. Set the covens ablaze in the name of Jesus. Set it ablaze. In the name of Jesus, set it ablaze, set it ablaze, set it ablaze. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. This is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. Listen and mark these words and note today's date. The covens that have closed the gate of childbearing, they've been scattered now. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the power of God coming upon you there. The covens that have closed the gate of marriage against you is on fire now. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. Listen, 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 listen. Seven persons are here. Even as we're talking here, there are covo meetings taking place in your father's compound in the village. The padlock that they have used against your life has caught fire now. The padlock is on fire, it's on fire. And the coven have been scattered. They've been scattered, they've been scattered, they've been scattered. Masikate yabo shende rabo kompolaka. Rabo saponde ke yabo. Aha. Listen, beloved. There's someone here. Now that the coven that has swallowed your money has scattered, the law will give you a contract that will make all your past poverty a story. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this with boiling anger. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Jump out of every corner.
kovum prism. My body hear the word of the Lord. Jump out of covenant prisons in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray like that. Jump out of every covenant prison in the name of Jesus. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out in the name of Jesus. Jump out in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. Something is happening here. Something is happening here. Masekaya Boshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Yes. Yes. Say. Every prophet of Baal challenging my God. Can you say that loud and clear? Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes, deal with the prophets challenging your God. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Yes, Master Pocatenda Kayabo Shanda, the Rabo Sombo Contela Kayabo Shanda. Yes, yes, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Something is about to happen. There are people here who should have made it to prosper. Your virtue was captured by the coven of your father's house, but that has been released to you now. Yes. That stubborn, the stubborn eye blood pressure, the stubborn spirit husband, both issues have now been disgraced. That scanner result that you brought here was a picture from the coven. It's not your lot. It has been cancelled now. Aha. You now shout this loud and clear. Arrows from wicked covens. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the arrows. In the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive. Your deliverance. Receive. Your healing. Receive. Your deliverance. Receive. Your healing. Receive. Your deliverance. Receive. Your healing. Receive. Your deliverance. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Somebody is receiving a new set of eyes. Somebody is receiving a new kidney. Somebody is receiving a new womb. Check those lumps on the breast. Check the skin attacks. They are all plantation from the coven. They've gone back there. Say coven judgment against me. Expire in the name of Jesus. Yes, expire in Jesus' name. We pray. Covenant decree against me. Expire in the name of Jesus. Come on to expire. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Covenant decision against my Lord. Expire in the name of Jesus. Command it to expire.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Three prayers before we sit down for a little bit. Something is happening over there. Your visa breakthrough is manifesting now. The power that is making nothing to work for you has been scattered completely. Three prayers. Aha. So every common power expecting my obituary. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. This is not a day to negotiate. This is a day to fire the arrows back. Every common power expected by Bishop. Your time is up now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more. Every common power gathering to celebrate my fall. Can you say this with only anger? You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, if that God is a celebrate my fall. It is a lie. Masikaya bo shenteraba. Tia karibo sepande kayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, this one, before we sit down, make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. And until I see things happening, I will not ask you to stop. Covum powers in my place of birth. A sign against my life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now with a very loud voice, louder than the ones you have been using to pray since. Pick any song of praises and sing it loud to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Any song of praises, sing it to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All eyes closed. The prayers we have prayed just now, only heavens can quantify the benefit it has done to our lives. For these prayers that we have done, they have terminated profitless hard work, they have terminated marital distress, they have terminated failure at the age of breakthrough, they have terminated joblessness, they have terminated constant witchcraft attacks, They've terminated the spirit of death and hell. They have brought forth academic success. It has removed the mark of hatred. It has removed failure of many firstborns. It has cancelled many clinical prophecies. It has brought uncommon favor. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Listen very carefully. There are seven sealing prayers to pray. To withdraw all those things we have lost into the covers. 
Let's bring out our prayer request now. Seven ceiling prayers. Why you hold your prayer letters in your hand? We have a few minutes to pray them. So pray them with fire. Every covenant incantation assigned against my life. Down in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. My wife, stolen by the covens, be released by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and recover your wife. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpents and scorpions from the covens. Dry up. Die. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. So every power gathered to mock me. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Masekaya Boshendera Basantayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, use my life to show the world that you have not changed. My father, use my life to show the world that you have not changed. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare that prayer. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Owners of evil load from the covens of darkness. Carry your Lord in the name of Jesus. Command them to carry their load. In Jesus' name we pray. One more before you grow. Every coffin of my father's house. Down! In the name of Jesus. Kill the covens. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for these prayer letters. Answer them by fire. By the next palm of changes, let everyone presented there become bigger bundles of testimonies. It is written that you to the hills shall raise up your head. From there comes your help. Your help comes from the Lord who made heaven stand out. You will not suffer your feet to be moved. For he that keepeth you in no slumber, that keepeth Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. Go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now listen before you go. Say what I'm going to say now after me. Say, I will not allow myself to be provoked out of my breakthrough. A warning from the Lord. Because of the prayers we have prayed there today, the enemy will want to play a return match. And the method to use is to annoy you, to provoke you to anger. Refuse to be angry. Refuse to be angry. Refuse to be angry. So that you won't lose the blessings. 
Let us share the grace in family.